I'm Trey Sampson. I'm Daryl Bembro. And today we'll be uh, answering uh, our homework problems using uh, the rules we've learned and captured so far, uh, including uh, finding derivatives of any type of equation. So uh, the first equation asks me to find the uh, derivative of secant x plus tan x times secant x minus tan x. I see that I'm multiplying two, two different original equations, so automatically I know to use the product rule. The product rule tells me I take the first times derivative of the second plus the second times derivative of the first. Uh, I'm going to use that. I'm going to simplify and I'm going to answer the uh, answer to the final answer. So first times derivative of the second plus second. to this. 
And the x coordinate for this problem was 1, comma, negative 1 over 2. So I have my x, I substitute it in. So I have 21 over 1 minus 7, substitute the 1 in for the x, times 1, and 1 minus 7 times 1 again. And remember, you have, you have to do it twice because it's 1 minus 7x squared. Simplify this one more time, that's 21 over 1 minus 7 times 1, that's 1 minus 7, 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Same thing, negative 6. So now, my final answer is 21 over 36. And that is my slope. I'm going to put slope or m. So now, looking that I have my slope, I have my slope, which is m. I have y1, which is the coordinate right here. I, have, I don't need an x, and I have x1, which is the coordinate right here. So based on the point slope formula, I'm going to substitute it in. I'm going to get my equation in my line. So I have y minus y1, which is 1 half, y minus, well, it's negative 1 half, y minus 1 half, negative 1 half is equal to my slope, which is 21 over 36, like I said, times x minus my x1, which is 1. Uh, substitute, simplify, that's y. Two negatives, so this really is y plus one half. So I subtract one half from both sides. So I'm left with y is equal to 21 over 36. Multiply 21 over 36 x minus 21 over 36. And remember, I subtract one from both sides, so I'm subtracting one half. Um, not gonna get into too much detail. We know that one half is equal to 18 over 36. So a negative 21 minus 18 over 36 will give me, a, it end up, ends up reducing to a, thir, a negative 13 over 12. So my final answer is y is equal to 21 over 36, x minus 13 over 12. And you think you're finished, but you can reduce to 21 over 36. I should have reduced there, but now that I see I can reduce here, I'm going to reduce. So 21 over 30 is 36. 3 goes into 21 7 times. And it goes into uh, 36 12 times. So my final answer is 7 12 x minus 13 over 12. Uh, my partner Trip will now uh, prep me for the third question. In the third problem, ask, ask, ask Daryl to explain what is done if you are finding the derivative of a fu function that has a variable in the denominator. So uh, based on the problem I just did, we saw that I had a 3 over a 1 minus 7x. And I had a variable in the denominator. So based on that, I know that I need to e. I need to for that I just use my quotient rule, which once again, low d high minus high d low all over low squared. And that's the derivative of low over high. High over low. Excuse me, I'm confused right there. So, and then when looking at, when knowing this, you also need to know that the low cannot equal zero. Um, and basically, what this is saying this is saying the derivative of u over v is equal to v u derivative minus u v derivative all over v squared. And once again, v cannot equal zero. Now, ask me the uh, fourth question. The fourth problem asks there to explain what is done if you are finding the derivative of a radical function. All right, so when you find the derivative of a radical function, it's important things you need to know. So let's just say we have y is equal to the derivative of the square root of x to the third. All right, so like I said, it has a radical. The first step in doing this will be changing this. When you have a radical, the, uh, the uh, exponent on the inside becomes the numerator over the, uh, whatever the power is. So this really becomes y is equal to x to the 3 halves. So now, finding the derivative of that, I can do that because I know that my power rule, my power rule states that I bring the power, I bring the power down and subtract the uh, exponent by 1. So that would be 3 halves x times 3 halves minus 1. And we know that 1 is equal to 2 over 2, so that's 3 halves minus 2 over 2. So that is 3 halves x 
to the halves minus two, two over two is one, which is equal to three times x. And that is how you find the derivative of a function with the right. Uh, my partner Trent will now do uh, questions uh, five through seven. Take the derivative of a, uh, we'll find the slope function of two x plus five over three x minus two. And the first thing I see when I look, in, look at this function is we have a variable in the numerator and the denominator, so I think the quotient rule automatically. And the quotient rule it states that you have to do low d high subtract high d low over low squared. And the, uh, the question uh, asks to find the slope. And uh, we've learned in calculus class that when it says find the slope, that really is just saying find the derivative. Final answer for this problem. Alright, my partner will now find the derivative of 2 over x to the fifth minus x to the eleventh plus the cosecant of 4 minus the fourth root of x cubed. Alright, in this one I see the derivative sum rule because it's adding and subtracting, and for the derivative sum rule, you have to take the derivative of each function separately. So, if I, so the derivative of this, this is going to come down and this is going to go up and then side flip. Cosecant of 4 is going to be 0. And this is going to come down and be 3. Now you take the derivative of this again. This one is going to stay the same. This one's going to be um, yeah, it's power. yeah, you got to use, use a power rule on this one, so it's going to be
bring this down. And this is the final answer for this problem. Question number seven asks my, pro my uh, partner to explain the product rule. The product rule is when you multiply two differential two differential equations and you multiply them by the first the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. That is it. So that is our homework for the evening.